Since 1918, the New York Times Daily Newspaper has won 125 Pulitzer Prizes, a prize awarded for excellence in journalism in a range of categories. Topic: 1910s 1918, The New York Times, for complete and accurate coverage of World War I. Topic: 1920s. 1923, Alva Johnston, for distinguished reporting of science news. 1926, Edward M. Kingsbury, for the most distinguished editorial of the year on the hundred neediest cases. Topic: 1930s. 1930, Russell Owen, for graphic news dispatches from the Byrd Antarctic Expedition. 1932, Walter Durante, for reporting of the news from Russia. 1934, Frederick T. Burkle, for unbiased reporting from Germany. 1935, Arthur Kroc, for distinguished, impartial and analytical Washington coverage. 1936, Lauren Dwight Lyman, for distinguished reporting, a world beat on the departure of the Lindberghs for England. 1937, Anne O'Hare McCormick, for distinguished foreign correspondence, dispatches and special articles from Europe, William L. Lawrence, for distinguished reporting of the tercentenary celebration at Harvard, shared with four other reporters 1938, Arthur Kroc, for distinguished Washington correspondence. 1940s Nineteen forty, Otto D. Tolishus, for articles from Berlin explaining the economic and ideological background of war engaged Nazi Germany. Nineteen forty one, The New York Times, special citation for the public education value of its foreign news reports. Nineteen forty two, Louis Stark, for distinguished reporting of labor stories. Nineteen forty three, Hansen W. Baldwin, for a series of articles reporting a tour of the Pacific battle areas. 1944, The New York Times, for the most disinterested and meritorious service rendered by an American newspaper—a survey of the teaching of American history. 1945, James B. Reston, for news and interpretive articles on the Dumbarton Oaks Security Conference. 1946, Arnaldo Curtesi, for distinguished correspondence from Buenos Aires, William L. Lawrence, for his eyewitness account of the atomic bombing of Nagasaki and articles on the atomic bomb. 1947, Brooks Atkinson, for a distinguished series of articles on Russia 1949, C.P. Trussell, for consistent excellence in covering the national scene from Washington. 1950s 1950, Meyer Berger, for a distinguished example of local reporting, an article on the killing of 13 people by a berserk gunman. 1951, Arthur Kroc, a special commendation for his exclusive interview with President Harry S. Truman, the outstanding instance of national reporting in 1950, Cyrus L. Salzberger, special citation for his interview with Archbishop Stepanak of Yugoslavia. 1952, Anthony H. Levero, for distinguished national reporting. 1953, The New York Times, special citation for its review of the week section which "...has brought enlightenment and intelligent commentary to its readers." 1955, Harrison E. Salisbury, for a series based on his five years in Russia, Arthur Kroc, a special citation for distinguished correspondence from Washington 1956, Arthur Daly, for his sports column, "...Sports of the Times." 1957, James B. Reston, Scotty Reston, for distinguished reporting from Washington. 1958, The New York Times, for distinguished coverage of foreign news. Topic: 1960s. 1960, A. M. Rosenthal, for perceptive and authoritative reporting from Poland. 1963, Anthony Lewis, for distinguished reporting of the United States Supreme Court 
1964, David Halberstam, for distinguished reporting from South Vietnam. 1968, Anthony Lucas, for a distinguished example of local reporting an article on a murdered 18 year old girl and her two different lives. Topic: 1970s. 1970, Ada Louise Huxtable for distinguished architecture criticism. 1971, Harold C. Schoenberg, music critic for distinguished criticism. 1972, The New York Times for a distinguished example of meritorious public service by a newspaper. Publication of the Pentagon Papers. 1973, Max Frankel, for his coverage of President Richard Nixon's visit to China, a distinguished example of reporting on international affairs. 1974, Hedrick Smith, for a distinguished example of reporting on foreign affairs, coverage of the Soviet Union. 1976, Sidney H. Shanberg, for his coverage of the fall of Cambodia, a distinguished example of reporting on foreign affairs. Walter W. Smith, Red Smith, for his Sports of the Times. Column, an example of distinguished criticism. 1978, Henry Cam, chief Asian diplomatic correspondent, for articles calling attention to the plight of Indochinese refugees. Walter Kerr, Sunday drama critic, for an outstanding example of distinguished criticism. William Sapphire, op ed page columnist, for his columns on the Burt Lance affair, an example of distinguished commentary. 1979, Russell Baker, for his Observer. Column, an example of distinguished commentary. Topic: 1980s. 1981, Dave Anderson for his Sports of the Times. Column, an example of distinguished commentary. John M. Crudson for his coverage of illegal aliens and immigration, a distinguished example of reporting on national affairs. 1982, John Darnton, for his coverage of the crisis in Poland, a distinguished example of international reporting, Jack Rosenthal, deputy editorial page editor, for a distinguished example of editorial page writing. 1983, Thomas L. Friedman, for his coverage of the war in Lebanon, a distinguished example of international reporting, Nan C. Robertson, for her article in the New York Times Magazine on her experience with toxic shock syndrome, a distinguished example of feature writing. 1984, Paul Goldberger, for distinguished architecture criticism, John Noble Wilford, for national reporting on a wide variety of scientific topics. 1986, Donald Henahan, music critic, for distinguished criticism, The New York Times, for explanatory journalism, a series of articles on the Strategic Defense Initiative, the Star Wars program. 1987, The New York Times, for national reporting on causes of the Challenger Shuttle disaster, Alex S. Jones, for distinguished specialized reporting on the dissension that dissolved a Louisville newspaper dynasty. 1988, Thomas L. Friedman, for coverage of Israel, a distinguished example of reporting on international affairs. 1989, Bill Keller, for coverage of the Soviet Union, a distinguished example of reporting on international affairs. 1990s 1990, Nicholas D. Kristof and Cheryl Wudun, for coverage of political turmoil in China, a distinguished example of reporting on international affairs. 1991, Natalie Angier, for coverage of molecular biology and animal behavior, a distinguished example of beat reporting. Serge Schmemann, for coverage of the reunification of Germany, a distinguished example of reporting on international affairs. 1992, Anna Quinlan, for Public and Private, a compelling column covering a wide range of personal and political topics, Howell Rains, for Grady's Gift, an account in the New York Times Magazine of his childhood friendship with his family's housekeeper and the lasting lessons of their interracial relationship. 1993, John F. Burns, for courageous coverage of the strife and destruction in Bosnia, a distinguished example of international reporting. 1994, The New York Times, for local reporting of the 1993 World Trade Center bombing, pooling the efforts of the Metropolitan staff as well as Times journalists covering locations as far ranging as the Middle East and Washington, Isabel Wilkerson, for distinguished feature writing, Kevin Carter, for his photograph of a vulture perching near a little girl in the Sudan who had collapsed from hunger, a picture that became an icon of starvation. 
1995, Margot Jefferson, for her book Reviews and Other Pieces, Examples of Distinguished Criticism. 1996, Rick Bragg, for Distinguished Feature Writing, Robert D. McFadden, for Distinguished Rewrite Journalism, Applied to a Broad Range of Stories, Robert B. Semple, Jr., for Distinguished Editorial Writing on Environmental Issues. 1997, John F. Burns, for Distinguished International Reporting on the Taliban Movement in Afghanistan. 1998, Linda Greenhouse, for Reporting on the Supreme Court's Work and Its Significance with Sophistication and a Sense of History. Machiko Kakutani, for Reviewing 1997's Many Major Literary Works and Essays That Were Fearless and Authoritative. The New York Times, for a series of articles on the effects of drug corruption in Mexico, a distinguished example of international reporting. 1999, Maureen Dowd, for the moral insight in which she brought to bear in her columns on the combat between President Bill Clinton and Kenneth Starr, The New York Times, notably Jeff Gerth, for a series of articles disclosing the corporate sale of American technology to China with the approval of the U.S. government despite national security risks. <laughs> 2000s. 2001, The New York Times, for national reporting, for its compelling and memorable series exploring racial experiences and attitudes across contemporary America. David K. Johnston, Beat Reporting, for his penetrating and enterprising reporting that exposed loopholes and inequities in the U.S. tax code, which was instrumental in bringing about reforms. 2002, The New York Times, for public service, for a nation challenged. A daily special section covering the aftermath of the September 11 attacks, the war in Afghanistan and America's campaign against terrorism. The section, which included biographical sketches of the victims, also appeared online. The New York Times, for its informed and detailed reporting that profiled the global terrorism network and the threats it posed, a distinguished example of explanatory reporting. The New York Times, for its photographs chronicling the pain and the perseverance of people enduring protracted conflict in Afghanistan and Pakistan, a distinguished example of feature photography. The New York Times, for its consistently outstanding photographic coverage of the terrorist attack. On New York City and its aftermath, a distinguished example of breaking news photography, Gretchen Morganson, for her trenchant and incisive Wall Street coverage, a distinguished example of beat reporting, Barry Barrick, for his deeply affecting and illuminating coverage of daily life in war torn Afghanistan, a distinguished example of reporting on international affairs, Thomas Friedman, for his clarity of vision, based on extensive reporting, in commenting on the worldwide impact of the terrorist threat. 2003, Clifford J. Levy, for investigative reporting, for his "'Broken Homes' series that exposed the abuse of mentally ill adults in state-regulated homes. 2004, The New York Times, for public service, for its series written by David Barstow and Lowell Bergman that examined death and injury among American workers and exposed employers who break basic safety rules. 2005, Walt Bogdanish, for national reporting, for his investigative series about the corporate cover-up of responsibility for fatal accidents at railway crossings. 2006, Nicholas D. Kristof for commentary on bringing the genocide in Darfur to the world's attention, Joseph Kahn and Jim Yardley for international reporting for their examination of China's legal system, James Risen and Eric Lichtblau for national reporting for their coverage of the United States government's secret eavesdropping program. 2007, Andrea Elliott for feature writing for coverage of an immigrant imam striving to serve his faithful in America 2008, Amy Harmon for explanatory reporting on the social impact of genetic tests, Walt Bogdanish and Jake Hooker for investigative reporting on how contaminated ingredients from China make their way into consumer goods, including medicine. 2009, David Barstow for his tenacious reporting that revealed how some retired generals, working as radio and television analysts, had been co-opted by the Pentagon to make its case for the war in Iraq, and how many of them also had undisclosed ties to companies that benefited from policies they defended. 2010s 
2010, Michael Moss, in explanatory reporting, for an investigative feature on food safety e.g., contaminated meat, Matt Richtel, in national reporting, for a series on the dangers of distracted driving, Sherry Fink of ProPublica in collaboration with The New York Times Magazine, in investigative reporting, for The Deadly Choices at Memorial about Hurricane Katrina survivors award shared with the Philadelphia Daily News, 2011, Clifford J. Levy and Ellen Berry, in international reporting, for their Above the Law series, which examined abuse of power in Russia, showing how authorities had jailed, beaten or harassed citizens who opposed them, and David Leonhardt, in commentary, for his weekly column Economic Scene, which offered perspectives on the formidable problems confronting America, from creating jobs to recalibrating tax rates. 2012, David Kochenuski, in explanatory reporting, for his series on tax avoidance, and Jeffrey Gettleman, in international reporting, for his reports on famine and conflict in East Africa. 2013, David Barstow and Alejandra Zanuck von Bertrab, in investigative reporting, for describing bribery by Walmart in Mexico, New York Times staff, in explanatory reporting, for examining global business practices of Apple Inc. and other technology companies, David Barboza, in international reporting, for exposing corruption in the Chinese government, and John Branch, in feature writing, for Snowfall, a multimedia presentation about avalanches. 2014, Tyler Hicks, in Breaking News Photography, for his compelling pictures that showed skill and bravery in documenting the unfolding terrorist attack at Westgate Mall in Kenya, Josh Hayner, in Feature Photography, for his moving essay on a Boston Marathon bomb blast victim who lost most of both legs and now is painfully rebuilding his life. 2015, Eric Lipton, in investigative reporting, for reporting that showed how the influence of lobbyists can sway congressional leaders and state attorneys general, slanting justice toward the wealthy and connected, New York Times staff, in international reporting, for courageous frontline reporting and vivid human stories on Ebola in Africa, engaging the public with the scope and details of the outbreak while holding authorities accountable, Daniel Barahulik, in feature photography, for his gripping, courageous photographs of the Ebola epidemic in West Africa. 2016, Tyler Hicks, Mauricio Lima, Sergei Ponomarev and Daniel Eder for breaking news photography for coverage of the ongoing migrant crisis in Europe and the Middle East, and Alyssa Rubin for international reporting for her coverage of the lives of women and girls in Afghanistan including the horrific murder of young Afghan woman who was beaten to death by a mob after being falsely accused of burning a Quran. John Wu and Adam Ellick produced a powerful accompanying video about the murder. 2017, C.J. Chivers, in feature writing, for showing, through an artful accumulation of fact and detail, that a Marine's post-war descent into violence reflected neither the actions of a simple criminal nor a stereotypical case of PTSD. 2017, The New York Times staff, in international reporting, for agenda-setting reporting on Vladimir Putin's efforts to project Russia's power abroad, revealing techniques that included assassination, online harassment and the planting of incriminating evidence on opponents. 2017, Daniel Barahulik, in Breaking News Photography, for powerful storytelling through images published in The New York Times showing the callous disregard for human life in the Philippines brought about by a government assault on drug dealers and users. Moved into this category from feature photography by the nominating jury. 2018, Jody Contour, Megan Toue, Emily Steele, and Michael S. Schmidt in public service, for explosive, impactful journalism that exposed powerful and wealthy sexual predators, including allegations against one of Hollywood's most influential producers, bringing them to account for long-suppressed allegations of coercion, brutality and victim silencing, thus spurring a worldwide reckoning about sexual abuse of women." Received jointly with Ronan Farrow of The New Yorker. 2018, staff, in national reporting, for deeply sourced, relentlessly reported coverage in the public interest that dramatically furthered the nation's understanding of Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election and its connections to the Trump campaign, the president-elect's transition team and his eventual administration," received jointly with The Washington Post. 2018, Jake Halpern and Michael Sloan, in editorial cartooning, for an emotionally powerful series, told in graphic narrative form, that chronicled the daily struggles of a real-life family of refugees and its fear of deportation. See also 
List of awards won by The New York Times